Hello, this is uh, Dr. Dave Gatros for my CDA3100 CDA computer work class. Uh, I had a request to uh, do a short video on uh, accessing an array. Uh, so very good, I'm glad to do that. Let me uh, create one here for you. It's called an array sample. And uh, I'm going to set up an array here. And uh, Word, I'm going to initialize it to uh, uh, an array. I'm not going to read it in. I'm just going to initialize it. So this will have 10 values in it. You can kind of guess what they are. Now you notice that when I'm initializing it too, I'm separating the uh, a space between the comma and the next number, and that's uh, a little syntax uh, uh, you got to remember. I'm also going to create a message, uh, say ASCII's, and uh, the array array is backslash n, by the way, is a carriage return. I'm also going to incorporate something else in here. Uh, um, I always do this. Um, I have a byte that I that I declare as a end of line character. So if I want to do a carriage return after I'm printing out a number, this is a very, very handy thing to do. All right, that's all the data we're going to need. Let's go ahead and do our, our um, source code. Global main. Dot, dot text tells us this is the start of our source code. The dot global main is the entry point into our program, which is right there. Um, so I'm, I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to not only print the array out, which is the main purpose of this, but I'm also going to do it by calling a subroutine. So it kind of incorporates two ideas at the same time. Okay. Let me go ahead and um, uh, let me go ahead and, and call the subroutine, and I'll add pieces to it. The first thing I'm going to do when I call a subroutine is uh, I'm going to get some stack space. Dollar sign stack space and minus four. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to store off the return address into that stack space so that I can come back and get it later. Then I'm going to jump down to my uh, array, print array routine, and then when I get back I'm going to reload that uh, register from the stack space. And then I'm going to add the memory back so I give that space back to it and then finally I just uh, uh, stop my program. Now here's the here's where we put our um, subroutine P array and the only thing I'm going to do right now is I'm going to uh, jump register RA. I'm just going to do that. Oh now let me add this to it. I'll just go ahead and do I'll print out our uh, message up there. Load immediate, uh, v0, 4, that's print string. Load the address of the array, or the message in there, message 1, and do a syscall. So let's save this, and uh, we're going to go over here, and we're going to bring our uh, spim program back over here. And there's our array. Let's see if we got any errors. Ah, it looks good. So we're going to run, and let's bring our console back and it says the array is, so everything looks good. So everything works well now. All right. So now what we got to do is we got to set up sending the array to the subroutine. So we're going to do that. We're going to load the address of the array into A0, and then we're going to load uh, A1 with the number of elements that we're going to send it. So we'll send that on down here. Now down in here in the array, Okay. The very first thing we want to do when we get in here is we want to save the contents of those uh, parameters passed in because we're going to use those registers again. So I move the address of the array into T0 and I move the number of elements in it into T1. Okay. So here we've called our array. Okay. We've gone down there. So now we're going to print off just one element. We'll run this and then come back and add the loop. Okay. Remember that the address of the array is in uh, T0, so I load the word of uh, into <coughs> A0 from a 0 offset from that register. Okay. Uh, I load immediate in V0 and tell it I want it to print an integer and do a syscall. Okay. Now that's all I'm going to do right now. I'm going to save that and we'll run it. We'll see if we can compile it and run it. Go file, reinitialize and load. Should just print off one number. OK. 
Okay. Simulator run. And there we have it. It prints off the number one. Very good. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to add to that. Okay. Syscall. I'm going to add to that. I'm going to load the byte into A0 from EOL. Load immediate into V0, E11. That is actually print a byte and do a syscall. So now we've got this set up so it prints off the one number. Now what we want to do is we want to uh, add unsigned immediate to the address of T0 to get us the next number. So that gets us the next number. I'll put that kind. Of get next number. Okay. I want to subtract one from the counter, which is in T1. T1. Counter. And then what I want to do is I want to test that uh, T1. I want to uh, branch on not equal okay, T1 to 0 to, we'll call it top. And we'll put top right there. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to load the word here from the array. I'm going to print it off. I'm going to print a carriage return. I'm going to get the next um, uh, number in the sequence. I'm going to subtract one from the counter. And if the counter is not equal to zero, I'm going to go back up here and do that all over again. Let's see if that logic works. I'm going to go over here and say uh, file reinitialize and load file, array sample, open, it looks good, simulator run, and there we have it, the array is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and we can see by the line right here, Cisco, exit, everything works just fine. Alright, so that is how you uh, access an array and also how you call a function and send it to parameters. Uh, I hope this little code demonstration uh, worked out well for you. I enjoyed doing it. Uh, glad to do them. And uh, look forward to doing another one.